it's time to hear from our honoree. Let me just say that we hereby declare this Weird Al Yankovic Day in Hollywood. It's your day. And if you'd look at uh, it's being live streamed, so look forward to it. Weird Al Yankovic Day? Well, then things are going to start changing around here right now, people! Thank you, Laurent Goobler, if that is in fact your real name. And thank you to all you folks for coming here today. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out to this free event. Um, you know, honestly, I, I had no idea the unemployment rate was so high here in Hollywood. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, well, th this is just an unbelievable moment for me. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever have imagined that one day I would be immortalized here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, sharing the same prestigious honor as Ryan Seacrest and Wally Cox and, and absolute vodka. It just boggles my mind. Um, I'm not sure if I should admit this, but I, I actually could have gotten this star like 10 or 20 years ago, but, but I, I told the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce that I specifically wanted the 2,643rd star, and it took a while for that number to come up in rotation, so my bad. Sorry about the wait, everybody. Um, oh, and a special apology to, uh, to Robert De Niro. He's getting a star in the Walk of Fame next year. Uh, I, I know a lot of you know this already, but De Niro has been very vocal about the fact that he just thought it would be criminally unfair for him to get a star before me. So, um, sorry, Bobby, and uh, thanks for being patient. Actually, the effort to get me a star here on the Walk of Fame has been going on for a very, very long time. Uh, so first and foremost, and from the bottom of my heart, I want to sincerely thank all the fans that made today possible. I also want to thank all the fans that didn't make today possible. They're cool too. I don't want to leave them out. But mostly, mostly I want to thank two specific fans. Dave Elvis Rossi and Vicky DeVries. tell you a little story about Dave. Dave, Dave I, I see you. Stand up, Dave. Stand up. Okay, now, now, now do a little dance. That was disturbing. Okay. You can sit down. Thank you. Um, back to the story. Uh, one day, back in 2003 A.D., Dave Rossi was vacationing here in beautiful Hollywood, California, when he discovered, to his chagrin, to his utter jaw-dropping horror, that his favorite musical recording artist, Weird Al Yankovic, did not have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. From that moment on, Dave's entire world was out of balance. <laughs> Nothing really made sense to Dave anymore but he knew that he would have to spend every waking moment of his life in an effort to correct this cruel injustice in the universe. So in the year of our Lord, 2005, he took it upon himself to start the Weird Al Star Fund. With the help of trusty treasurer, Vicky DeVries, rhymes with cheese, They've reached out to fans for donations, for money that would go toward the exorbitant star fee, so that in the unlikely event that the application was accepted, I would have a star. Well, as it turns out, their application was not approved that year, and it was also turned down every single year after that for the next 12 years in a row. <laughs> Don't worry, the story has a happy ending. And during that time, whenever the already exorbitant star fee went up, which it did, a lot, it basically tripled during that time, uh, they would just go out and raise some more money. 
So I want to sincerely thank all of the generous fans who took out second mortgages on their homes <laughs> and subsisted on nothing but ramen noodles for years and years just so I could be standing before you here today. Thank you for your selfless sacrifice. I mean, um, I guess you could have donated that money to the Red Cross or the American Cancer Society or something, but I think you made the right choice. I do. I, I think this was an excellent use of your disposable income. Um, seriously, though, I'm completely overwhelmed by the love and support of the fans. This means so much to me. I, I've said this in interviews many times over the years. Having my name in a star on a sidewalk, you know, and that's cool, that's really nice. You know, who wouldn't want that? But just knowing that I have the love and support of the fans, people that would go through all this time and effort and money to do something completely crazy like this, that, that means everything in the world to me. Um, <laughs> although full disclosure, now that we're actually here and, and, and we're doing this, this is pretty awesome. I got <laughs> I was being all cool and everything, but I'm really, really happy about this. <laughs> I'm happy that for the rest of my life, whenever I hear the song Celluloid Heroes by the Kinks, I'm going to have a special personal connection to those lyrics. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that the, um, the Chamber of Commerce was able to honor my request. I, I talked to him a couple months ago. And I asked them, I said, if it's possible at all, can, can my star be directly next to my two all-time greatest musical influences, Roy Clark and Barry White? And, oh, and also, I know this is actually, I don't want to be pushy or anything, but if I could be like within 200 feet of a Hooters. So ladies and gentlemen, dreams do come true. Um, but mostly, it, it's just an honor knowing that my name, my name is going to be walked on, spit on, and let's face it, urinated on for generations to come. That's a legacy, my friends. Um, by the way, I, I'm sorry I even have to say this. I don't want to even have to ask this, but I... Please, please don't pickaxe my star, okay, guys? I mean... I know it's all the rage these days, but... That's not cool. Just, you know, that's, that's rude. Just please don't do that. Unless... Unless at some point in the future I do something unfathomably monstrous and evil, in which case, sure, fine, okay, go ahead. I, yeah, it makes sense. But, but, but anything short of that, please limit yourself to spitting and urinating, okay? I have some class, people. Uh, which reminds me, um, I wasn't sure if I should bring this up, but um, I've got something I, I want to say right now. Um, some people would argue that this isn't the time or the place, um, that it's not appropriate uh, for a celebration like this. But, uh, and I, I understand that, I really do, but, but there are a lot of people here today, uh, the media is covering this. Uh, I've got a lot of attention, serious attention focused on me right now, worldwide attention. And uh, I kind of feel like I don't want to waste this opportunity as a public figure to, uh, to use my voice to say something that I think is really important. And, uh, I, I apologize in advance if this is not what some of you want to hear, but I feel like I have to, to make a statement. I, I'm selling a used credenza on Craigslist. Um, it's espresso brown, mid-century modern. The left rear corner's got a little bit of damage, like a little chip. You can like use a Sharpie or a felt pen or a magic marker, just color it in. You'd never know. You'd never, and one, of the, one of the drawers sticks a little bit, but other than that, it's, it's, it's in perfect, well, it's in decent shape. It's uh, asking $200 or, or best offer. I'm, I'm flexible. Um, but cash only. No personal checks. Oh, man. Thanks for letting me get it out that, off my chest. That, whoo, man, I feel much better now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
I think that's pretty much it. I just want to wrap this up with a few quick thank yous. Uh, once again, I cannot thank the fans enough. I mean, all of this, everything today, this is all you guys, 100%. You know, I, uh, I'm not getting the start through the efforts of a, a record label or a movie studio or a TV company or any other uh, corporate entity. This is completely because of the fans. I love you guys, and I am now and forever grateful for your support. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, who after 13 years of getting ha uh, badgered and harassed and pestered by those very same fans, finally said those beautiful magic words, yeah, okay, we'll take your money. I want to thank the guys in my band, the best band in the entire world. Now, that, that's not hyperbole. That's not my personal opinion. That's been empirically proven, my friends. That is a fact. And this star belongs as much to them as it does to me. Guys, stand up. Stand up. Everybody, stand up. John Bermuda Schwartz, Jim Kimo West. Steve J. And I want I, I want to say Ru Ruben. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruben Ruben Valtiero. Well, he he's the new guy. He's only been one of this for for 27 years. So we're still breaking him in. He's he's doing pretty well so far. You know what? Um, Ruben got married two days ago. This is true. He got married uh, in Northern California on Saturday, and um, apparently he chose to come here on his honeymoon. <laughs> Idiot. Um, yeah. Are you here solo, man? Are you b oh, that's not a good sign. No. Oh, man. Anyway, I, I love these guys to death. They, they've been with me forever, and uh, they're the absolute greatest. And if you don't believe me, I, I will fight you. I want to thank the great Barrett Eugene Hansen, a.k.a. Dr. Demento. The man who single-handedly changed the entire trajectory of my life. Uh, and also Thomas Lennon, one of my absolute closest and dearest friends. I forced them both to come here today and say really, really nice things about me while I awkwardly stood two feet away from them. That was fun. I love you guys, and I feel hashtag blessed to have people like you in my life. Um, I want to thank Jay Levy, who has been my long-suffering personal manager since 1981. Uh, he deserves some kind of special award just for that. And if not for that, certainly for his groundbreaking work in the role of Gandhi in the major motion picture UHF. I mean, come on! Come on! You were robbed, man. You were totally snubbed. The Academy really slept on that one. Uh, okay, I, really, I really need to speed this up, and there's so many people I have left to thank, so uh, I, I, I want to thank you, and you, and you, and you. You, not you, but but definitely you. Uh, and finally, I want to thank the two most important people in my life, my amazing wife, Suzanne, and my equally amazing daughter, Nina. So then, Suzanne, thanks for putting up with me when I'm in my creative mode. Uh, when I'm lost in my own world, uh, staggering around the house like a zombie in a Simpsons bathrobe, his eyes glazed over and randomly bumping into things. I'm, I'm sure that's not what you signed up for. Uh, and Nina, thank you so much for putting up with years and years and years of horrible dad jokes. Um, I can't even begin to imagine how horrible and torturous that was for you, uh, and I'm truly deeply sorry. I love you both so much. Um, 
Well, thank you all once again for this amazing honor. Um, this is so, so far beyond anything I could have possibly imagined when I was in college recording songs with my accordion in a bathroom, um, getting the star on the Walk of Fame. I, I kind of feel like this is maybe may, may my one real shot at immortality because I know that now my name is going to basically be here till the end of civilization, which, let's face it, is probably like three or four months away, but <laughs> still, that, that's something, I guess, right? I love you guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's unveil that star. a good feeling to know you're alive it's such a happy feeling you're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say I think I'll make a snappy new day it's such a good feeling a very good feeling the feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you'll want to talk about I will too you always make each day such a special day you know how by just your being you only one person in the whole world like you that's you yourself I'll be back next time bye bye